Hello! Today, we will look at using MQTT to communicate between two Raspberry Pis running Node Red. Let's get started. You can see that we have two Raspberry Pis, each connected to an LED and a resistor. Let's start by looking at the pinouts used in this video. On the Raspberry Pi, we can open a terminal window and using a command called pinout to look at what the pins are. So we'll take this window and we're going to make it tall because that pinout command is tall. So once we've got that stretched out a bit, we just type in pinout and press enter. So here you can see ground, pin 39, and pin 40 for GPIO 21, which equates to these pins in this diagram up here. So let's get a close-up shot of the pins we have in this circuit. You can see that this orange wire is connected to pin 40, which is GPIO 21, and this brown wire is connected to pin 39, which is the ground. Now that we're done looking at the pinout, we can go ahead and close this. And now let's flip over to the web browser so we can look at Node Red. Now let's include an overview of our circuit so we can see the LEDs turn on and off as we set this up. So we're going to start off by working on the what I'm calling the Raspi 2, which is this Raspberry Pi on the right. And then what I call Raspi 4 is this Raspberry Pi on the left. Starting with Raspi 2, we'll first drag out this RPI GPIO out. Get that placed up here. And we'll scroll up and we'll add a few inject nodes. So what we're doing right now is setting up a quick manual test to be sure that the LEDs turn on and off as we expect. This first inject node, we'll double click it to get to the properties. We're not going to need this. We're going to change this to Boolean true. And then we'll double click this other inject node. Again, get rid of that. Change this to Boolean false. And done. We'll double click this node. And again, we're going to be setting pin 40, GPIO 21. We can flip back to this other view here real quick, which is that red wire. Digital output. We'll initialize the pin state by leaving it at a low level. Click on Done. And now we'll wire these up and hit deploy. When I click on true, you'll see the LED on Raspi 2 turn on. And when I click on false, we'll see the LED turn off. Now let's do the same thing for Raspi 4. Again, two inject nodes. And we'll scroll down and grab an RPI GPIO out node. Get this configured. We'll set this up to be true. We'll set this one up to be false. Double click this. Set GPIO 21. Initialize low and done, and then deploy. We need to wire that up or it won't work. So let's wire it up and then click deploy. So now when we click on true over here, the LED on the left will turn on. And when we click on false, the LED on the left will turn off. So we can leave these here. I'm going to double click this tab so we can rename it. And I'm just going to call this manual. And done. Deploy. And we'll do the same thing for Raspi 2. Double click that. Change this name to manual. And done. So now let's talk about setting up MQTT. 
Again, we'll start off on Raspy 2. What we'll do is add another tab. Let's double click this tab so we can get to the name and let's call this subscriber. And click done. So what we're gonna add in is an MQTT in node. We'll double click it to get to the properties. Now we need to add a new MQTT broker. So we'll click on the pencil. For this, we'll be using the MQTT broker that's running on the Raspi 4 device. So we'll just type in Raspi 4 here and the server, again, Raspi 4. Now that's what I'm calling my devices. Whatever your device names, that's what you'd place in here. Now everything else we can leave at the default. So we'll click on Add. And now we get to the topic. For MQTT, the subscribers are going to listen for messages that we specify here in the topic. So for this topic, I'm going to call this Raspi2 and then slash LED1. Now what this is doing is this particular MQTT node will only respond when it sees Raspi2 slash LED1 come across. And when it sees that, it'll pass on whatever value is within this topic. So we'll click on Done. Now we'll scroll down and we'll add in our GPIO out node. And we'll connect this up here. And again, we'll double click this. And we're going to choose GPIO 21, initialize low, and done. And deploy. So now the subscriber is set up on Raspi 2. So now we'll switch over to Raspi 4. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a subscriber. So let's add another flow. We'll double click this and we'll call this subscriber. Click on done and do the same thing. We're going to add a GPIO out node and then add in an MQTT in node. So we'll double click this MQTT node Again, we're working on a different Raspberry Pi device, so we'll in a different node red. So again, add a new MQTT broker. We'll click on the pencil. And this time, we're going to specify Raspi 4. And again, Raspi 4. And click on Add. Now the topic we're going to be listening here for is Raspi 4 slash LED1 and done. We'll connect these up and now we'll double click this node again GPIO 21 digital output initialize to a low and click on done and deploy. Now we have our subscribers all set up the next thing we need to do is set up a publisher. We're going to set up the publisher only on Raspi 4. No need to set this up on 2. The publisher is what is going to send out messages and the subscribers will be listening and if the message matches the subscribers will respond accordingly. So let's go ahead and add another tab here on our page. We'll double click this tab and we'll call this Publisher. Click on Done. So for our Publisher, we'll add in an MQTT out node. We'll drag that up here. We'll double click it. And the server will be Raspi4. Now we're going to leave topic blank here. As the tip says, leave topic QS retain blank if you want to set them via message properties, which is exactly what we want to do. So we'll click done. You see it's connected, which is good. So now let's add in some inject nodes. 
So we'll start off by adding two inject nodes. This first one here we'll say raspy2 slash led1 and we're going to change this to boolean true and then on this inject node we're going to say raspy2 slash led1 and we'll change this to boolean false and done We'll wire these up and let's neaten this up just a bit. Now we'll click on deploy. So now when we click on this inject node, we'll see that the LED on Raspi2 lights up. And when we click on this inject node, we'll see the LED on Raspi2 turn off. So let's add two more inject nodes, and these we'll use to control Raspi4 LED1. So here we'll type in Raspi4 slash LED1, and again we'll set this to Boolean true. And on this inject node, we'll type in Raspi4 slash LED1, and set this to Boolean false and done. So let's line these up nice, wire this up, and then we'll drag this in the middle here and click on deploy. So now when we click on Raspi4 LED1, you'll see that the LED on Raspi4 lights up, and when we click on Raspi4 LED1 false, it will turn off. So what's happening here is we're sending this message, raspy2 slash led1 true, to the broker. And the broker then will relay this message to any subscriber that subscribed to that same topic, raspy4 led1 in the case of raspy4 or raspy2 led1 in the case of raspy2. So we're pushing these messages to the broker, the broker's relaying them to the subscriber, and when we pass this value of true based on this string right here, the subscriber, this matches, and the subscriber then passes that value on in its message. In our case, turning the LEDs on or off. Now let's take this one step further and we have individual control of these LEDs. We can turn them on or off. But what if we wanted to turn them all on or all off in one step? We can achieve that by going back to our subscriber tab and we're gonna add one more MQTT in node. And this time we're gonna change what message we're listening for. So in the first case, we're listening for Raspi2, something very specific to that particular device. Now I'm going to set up another topic, which I'll simply call all slash LED1. And click on done. So now I've got another listener that will respond to all. I'll wire this up and neaten this up just a bit and click on deploy. Now let's do the same thing for Raspi4. On the subscriber, we'll add another MQTT in node. And again, we're going to add another topic called all slash LED1. Now I'm using the word all. You could use any other word, any other phrase that you wanted to. Um, this just to me means all devices. So I'm going to click on done. And again, wire this up. Neaten this up just a bit. And click on deploy. So now Raspi2 and Raspi4 are also listening for another message called all led1. 
And if it sees that, it will pass that on to this particular pin. So let's go to the publisher. And we're going to add two more inject nodes. And these, for the message topic, we're going to say all LED1. And then the same thing, a Boolean true. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll do all slash LED1 with a Boolean false. And again, wire these up to our broker. Neaten this up a little. Drag this down a bit. And click on Deploy. So now, when we click on all LED1, both LEDs should turn on. And when we click on all LED false, both should turn off. That wraps it up for this video. I hope you find this video helpful, and I hope you find this video inspiring. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.